going on? It's your girl Fathom DJ here doing a bit of an unboxing. I'm at my mom's house, so you have to bear with me on this one. But I wanted to do the unboxing um, for the Denon DJ, which is the DVS interface um, that Denon created. I think they created it in 2015. I am being asked to do more vinyl DJing once again, which is an issue based on my history. But um, I had the Serato SL1 box. And of course, if you're going to try to use that box with a newer MacBook, you are going to run into some challenges. So I thought I would update in order to accommodate the opportunities that I'm currently getting to either play vinyl, which I have no problem doing, or play something that mimics vinyl. So this is an update um, to my current setup. Of course, I have the um, Pioneer DDJ SSX2, which is on my channel. I also have 1200s and um, of course, the DDJ SX2 has the Serato interface in it, which means that I can play DVS through that to the vinyl controllers. But the idea is not to have to take that out of the house. You're playing in a venue that has turntables, then you most certainly are able to use something like this in order to be able to um, to DJ in those spaces. And a lot of places are actually stepping their games up and adding 1200s or some form of turntables in order to authenticate the idea of vinyl and um, also DJs. So if you're a controller DJ over a traditional DJ and you know, you can take that however you like, then the question is, is do you have to go out and start to invest a bunch of money in um, vinyl as well as turntables in order to be able to meet the requirements of the venues? Of course, you wanna have your own equipment because you wanna be able to practice. So I'm doing this with my hands because I don't have my tripod or what have you, but I'm already impressed because I love package design and graphic design, I'm a nerd, and I partake in the art of creating images and things of that nature. So I slid the sleeve off of this girl and I love the box that it's in. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. So inside the box, of course, is, is a nice little introduction for the love of vinyl. And of course, you all know that this is not vinyl, but this will get you close with your computer and a mixer. And based on the fact that Serato just updated um, D to DJ Pro, you most certainly can use just your computer to be able to DJ. But if you really want to authenticate, then you want to have some external devices that you're working with your hands. Look at how small this girl is. Now I don't have my Serato box, my old school Serato box with me, but I most certainly can tell you that it is at least four times the size of this Denon DJ interface. It's heavy. The hope is that it's, it's durable and it, it feels very durable. Seems like it's very well made. Um, it's got grounding on it, which your turntables need to be grounded um, when using them. On one side, it has the inputs left and right for your turntables to go into. And on the back, there's a button for the input to switch it up would be to have it in a CDJ or CD mode and to switch it down would have it in a phono mode for those of you who may I, I never honestly think about using um, these devices with CDJs and that's unfair because some people will have CDJs and not have 1200 turntables to use it with I never think of that because I'm always thinking about the authentication that vinyl holds and those controllers into and the outputs left and right for your mixer. So those outputs are gonna go out 
to your mixer, which is gonna go out to the house or it's gonna go out to speakers or monitors to give you external sound. And then of course is the USB port, which is going to go from your, um, from this to your computer. Heavy duty, constructed, styrofoam-ish packaging. Um, that's cool. I wasn't. Ex I actually wasn't expecting them to have RCA cords. Um, these are somewhat, from my experience prior, and I haven't. This is my first denim purchase. Um, I haven't used any denim products, so. But you know, I'm I'm not really that big on using the the RCA cords that come with it. Of course, I just got it, so I need to purchase some shorties but they give you two of the RCA packs with the cords for the ins and the outs it's always a good idea to have a couple of USB cords and of course if you have bought different controllers and um, drum pads and things like that you probably have a plethora of those at your disposal keep two or three in your bag because you never know you have the software for the device and the manual. <laughs> we had a conversation about manuals and how they don't get read right, right away unless something happens. So in this packet are two CDJ, CDs for controlling CDJs. Let's see if I can slid uh, without, oh, I'm capable with the left. So, these are the one and the twos for the CDJs. Um, it's pretty traditional. I think there was this kind of slip situation for the um, controllers for Serato as well. Um, of course, Serato is, is, is killing the game with all of the mixers and um, the collaborations that they have for Serato. And this is definitely a another addition to us so there's another section that I'm gonna open up and underneath that simply are the official control vinyls and I played on the DDJ SX2 through to my turntables yesterday and of course I was curious because I was like I wonder will those old vinyl controls work with this device so when I'm at home, I most certainly will do a demo just to show you the device working. Now, Denon, if I'm not mistaken, Denon doesn't have its own software program. I could be wrong about that. Serato, of course, is, is very popular. And of course, Rekordbox is popular, but I, I'm not really a fan of Rekordbox. So I think that's it, basically. They took, I, I wish I had done an unboxing when I first got my um, my original SL1 Serato box because it was so crazy and a lot more um, involved. So once again, four sets of RCA cords for the in, two for the in, two for the out, one USB. And the tiny, I love that it's so tiny. I love the compactness of this box already just because of the fact that it's come they can be the the older units the big serato boxes sl1 and 2 were larger sizes i think the three or there was a limited version that was a very compact kind of situation but it wasn't this compact like it wasn't this is like almost the size of your phone basically which is dope for transporting is is heavy but it's not as heavy as that other box and you can get it in a, a knapsack or a messenger bag or something like that which is is cool so that's it it's your girl fathom dj live and direct you can find me in your worldwide web sphere at findingfathomdj.com as well as instagram facebook twitter linkedin google play itunes track source beatport amazon band camp Instagram, but you can find me in the worldwide website space.